Hey guys, this is Buckeye Prepping again. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about um, grid down communications, maybe uh, power outage, EMP. Um, just say that most of the infrastructure is gone for cell phones and internet and those kind of things. Um, I am a ham operator. And I do have a call sign, but I'm not going to publish that. Um, today I just want to kind of go quickly over a little stuff that I have. Um, this is definitely taking me a while to accrue these items. Um, individually, some of these items are very expensive. This is up here you're probably going to see is going to be close to fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars worth of stuff, which I've pieced over, pieced together. A large span of time. Um, what you're looking at here is a ICOM 7000 that has a detachable face. Right now, I'm hooked up to an antenna and a battery. You see over here. This is a small little 9 amp hour battery that I have it hooked up to which is more enough to do listening and some transmission, but it's definitely not enough uh, power to do full power output for this. Probably need to be hooked up to a car battery, something that's charging, a really large charging source. Um, I think uh, ham radio is, is very vital to communications. Um, I got into it after Katrina, after I found out how ham radio did a lot of good is saving people's lives and helping where organizations like FEMA couldn't do anything and you know their response is bad I don't have to go into that detail but they helped out a lot with other small organizations um, getting supplies in and out and uh, I was really surprised at what you can do when you have your own little setup when you don't need that much power with a decent antenna uh, the setup is it's kind of expensive. This radio here is usually in the thousand dollar range. I got mine around nine hundred or so, nine fifty. Um, I like this radio because it has a lot of electronic functions. Although it is not EMP proof, and if it's not stored in EMP proof some type of container, it will go bust because this is all digital processing. Uh, the nice thing about this is it takes a lot of the guesswork out for the beginner. Um, takes a little, for other old radios that are yeah, crystal based, kind of analog kind of thing, it is a much harder to learn, it takes a lot of experience, but something like this can get you going, and uh, on the road basically for very little input and time to learn. Um, I haven't played with this a whole lot, I've only had it for a few months, and Kind of my mobile setup hooked up to this battery. Um, here, in another second or so, I will go over and show you a little bit about the antenna and that I have a uh, solar panel hooked up for mobile use out in the field. Okay, this is my antenna setup. This is called a buddy pole. Right now, I have it set up for a 20 meter band. Need some way to tie it down here or tie it to the post. Uh, this, this covers most of the ham range, operating range. Um, not all of them, but it's a nice mobile setup that folds up. A nice little carrying case. I'll show you that later. Down here, I have a solar panel. This is a 30 watt, it's 1.8 amps. Walk around. I have this hooked up the battery as it charges. It's a whole bunch of mess of wires I have yet to figure out a nice way to hook it all up with that whole bunch of little wires hanging everywhere. Okay, so I'll set back up up here. Uh, maybe we'll just talk a little bit more about this kind of setup. Um, I like this setup 
Um, it's a little bit heavy because of the battery, but uh, there are lighter battery options, but they are much more expensive. Um, I like having the solar panel. Um, it gives me some back, some power when it's uh, sunny out. Even in overcast, I get a little bit of charge. Um, it is a 1.8 amp charge at full um, full sun, so it can it can charge a battery through the part of a day, probably in the summer, most of the sun of the day. Um, I have it usually stored in a backpack here. I'll go into later with the how everything looks when it's closed up and loaded. Um, I just want to show this as an option of uh, things you can do for being set up for a grid down or SHTF situation where you don't have communications. Um, I will go on uh, in another video and show my little hand portable setup that I have that I usually carry with me everywhere. But uh, this is just one option. This one's pretty nice. It's uh, somewhat mobile, a little bit heavy for a portable radio. But uh, this gives you much more coverage, much more capability. Um, the features on this are just endless. This is a high value unit. Um, I, I decided to start here for a base station setup as opposed to the handheld that I have. I've had for a few years. There's lots of things you can do here. You can hook this up to a regular car, like in a, a cab of a truck or car. Um, you can set this up at home. And it's also fairly small enough so you can take it maybe on some light backpacking. Um, I haven't done that much extensively myself, but this is a very weighty item compared to some other radios like the Yaesu um, 817. I know it's much lighter, uh, not quite as capable, but. Uh, comes with some of its own battery power. Um, again, I do like the solar panel setup. Uh, I got this on sale for $290 on Amazon. The battery itself, I think I got for $20 at Amvention. So, uh, this is just some setup that you can maybe compare to other setups for other people are doing, but uh, this is what I saw as best value, uh, bang for the buck for me. There are all kinds of other options out there. But uh, I figured this suited me best. Um, I think there's no right or wrong answer for this. You know, you do what suits your uh, your desires, your needs, and obviously your financial situation. Again, I, I bought this over a period of probably eight months to a year, getting piece by piece. Um, it's kind of a bummer when you do it that way. You don't get to use them together until you finally get all the pieces together. But uh, it's very rewarding when you get it and uh, I think in another video I'll show you how how I usually use it uh, I use it take it on a bike and trailer and ride from my apartment out to this park and I uh, can do some practicing out here and enjoy it when the weather's nice so uh, this is uh, going to be it for the uh, deployed opening um, to position I will go over what it looks like when it's all cased up and in the uh, backpack and uh, show you how I stow it away and basically kind of give you an idea what kind of space it takes up packed up as compared to and deployed. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is what it looks like taken down, all packed up. Over on the right side, this is the solar panel, all wrapped up, nice thin piece very light. Here's the mast that the antenna was, was on, folds up. Here's the radio itself and bubble wrap, obviously the battery. Here's all the antenna parts except for uh, any of the wires, the smaller wires, the power wires. wires. Um, in this bag I also include my uh, user manual and this is just a foam cushion for sitting down on in case I'm in the grass or I can't get into a pavilion. Here's the bag I usually keep it in. Uh, this, most of it fills out uh, most of the bag. Uh, not much room left over. But uh, I have there's nice side pockets here. This is where I keep all the cables, stakes, uh, the microphone, any of the little wires and stuff that'll fit in there. Um, just to try and keep it more accessible on the outside. So as you can see, this is a pretty pretty nice little mobile setup. Probably not quite bug out bag worthy or um, 72 hour worthy by itself, 
or as a as the unit to take with you. It's uh, very heavy. Um, it's very nice though to take if you're going to go probably car camping, truck camping, uh, maybe a camper, something to throw in there that you can take with you. Um, obviously, if you're trying to huff this on foot with all the other supplies like food and water, um, tents, all that kind of stuff, you're probably not going to want to take all this weight. It's going to be much too heavy. But uh, it is nice, it is somewhat mobile. Um, I like it for my, my desires, what I think it's going to be the best for me. I think if anything happens as far as EMP or something of that nature, we're just going to take out a lot of electronics. We're all going to be in a world of hurt, no matter what you have. But if I do have the possibility to get out in a car, truck, this is definitely um, going to be packed in. Um, I always have this packed in the bag, ready to go, near my front door. Um, if I do any long trips, I always take it with me, just in case. So, this is... Oh, it's not good. So this is my setup. I um, hope you get something out of this. Uh, if you guys have different setups, I'd love to hear. Uh, I've seen other people hike in stuff, uh, a little bit lighter. Um, definitely a little bit more pricey when it comes to the battery. But, uh, hope you enjoy, and I will see you on the next one.